All right. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of United Heartland Baseball. We finally made it to the big 500 and uh, 24 games in. I think we got about 40 games left in the season. It looks like a bunch of them will play kind of in a row. Uh, we don't have a lot of... It seems like maybe later on in the season we have quite a few series, but other than that... Whoops. No, no, no. Don't just sit in those games. But at least we can have that there. Let me see here. Juiced. Uh, they're a little tense, but that's okay. Their fitness level's good. Uh, maybe not her fitness level. We can sub her out, right? Let's see here. I like him. Let's, whoops. That's the wrong thing. Here we go. I thought about something completely different to play, and I wasn't I wasn't quite sure. There we go. I thought about some like off the wall game, something that you know, like like when I played Snowboard Kids or something like that. I don't I don't know exactly what to play. Some people didn't seem to appreciate Diddy Kong Racing when I played that. <laughs> All right. It's actually been a little while since I played this, so I might not be the best at it. I say as I get a hit, but it could probably have a lot to do with the lower ego level. I probably shouldn't swing at that either. Damn. Well, at least we'll make this quick. Oh. Aries Marsh Jr. All right, just barely. I kind of got to remember where the strike zone's at. Perfect. No, 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 Damn. I know you were talking earlier. We were, we were talking just before I actually started the recording about... Um, oh, damn it. I meant to check my swing. That's a dumb move. We talked about earlier about another... A different game to play. And you had mentioned NASCAR, and I talked about the fact that I actually considered NASCAR uh, because there is... Uh, let me see here. What is it? NASCAR Heat 5 looked pretty good. I think there are a lot of people who are very eh. Like, it seemed like okay. It seemed like the NASCAR Heat games have gotten good in the last couple of games. However, uh, I did consider, what was it? NASCAR Racing. Well, shit. That's all right. NASCAR Racing 2003 season. Because I do have that for my computer. And the number of mods for it is crazy. I think there's a, like an endless supply of different um, speedways that you can put in there. And I think, I think it's actually built into the game, being able to create your own like uh, custom championship. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that there is a way to, to, to do it. Hey. So I think you can basically get a lot of modified uh, NASCAR tracks. Some of them real, some of them fake. I'd seen some ones that were interesting. I'd seen some like um, this like big dirt um, figure eight that looked interesting. There was that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Of course women can play baseball. Have you ever seen a league of their own? There's just no crying in baseball. So don't don't be crying.
So yeah, I think there was one that was like a NASCAR esque like motocross track. Like it had a lot of bumps and turns and stuff like that that resembled a a motocross track. But yeah, honestly, replace NFL with NASCAR. Like I was gonna replace like I was gonna replace NFL with uh, Axis. I don't know if people even want to do Axis, honestly. I liked I liked doing Axis because I did I did end up getting quite a few people who would watch it just because I think just out of sheer curiosity of um how you know how it plays and how it looks and everything else. Not to mention the franchise modes seems pretty good. They're definitely improving the franchise mode, and they actually, as I talked about last year, they seem to have improved the gameplay at least a, a good percentage. Still kind of plays a little similar to how it uh, kind of always did, but they seem to make improvements that I enjoyed about it. Like being able to catch on the run is good. A lot of accuracies. Plus, they got uh, an interesting roster. They got a they got a stud tight end playing for the Nebraska team. <laughs> I'm actually more excited about it more than anything because I don't I don't know if I can say I can't really I don't think I could really say anything about it other than the fact that I am a patron of it. I think that's another big reason. Yeah. And I've been playing the uh, I've been playing the beta. And from what it sounds like, I can't really talk about how it plays or my thoughts on it. I certainly can't show any footage or anything like that. I I think I can at least say that I'm that I'm playing the beta. Damn it. There we go. But yeah. I don't know if I'd want to do dirt to Daytona again just because I already did that. But if I can get some mods to work for, if I can if I can get the mods working properly for, like, NASCAR 2003 season, I'd be excited to try to do that. Come on. Here, let me see if I can high and outside. Whoops. Oh, I got a piece of it. All right. <clears throat> ah, damn it. This game plays like a game. Oh, shit. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Damn it. Play Dirt to Daytona or 03, not modern shit. See, that's the thing also is I haven't played modern shit. I don't, I don't really know how it plays. I know there's... I know once it like came back, sort of, once it got out of like EA's hands, I think I played the first couple that were on like 360. I think I played up to like, what, NASCAR 11, I think it is. There was one that was like The Line or something like that. I think I played up to that one. Inside Line, I think it was. But I, I'd heard so many shitty things about once, like, I think once like, once that came around, and then also NASCAR, ah, oh, damn it, we had we were so there. And uh, once, once uh, they had the new developers that were working from like twelve and all that, I'd heard it been bad. And then they did NASCAR Heat, and I heard NASCAR Heat Evolution wasn't great. And I didn't hear much about three, but I heard four was good. I heard a lot of people say a lot of good things about four. Oh my goodness, can you not? Ah, damn it. Finish out Lucha Hogan and do impact. Ooh. I don't know. I feel like there's enough, there's a lot of people who have done the... I mean, the story mode's at least there, but... I don't know. I think that save is, like, gone. I think the idea of doing of doing that save is... Somewhere out in the ethos. 
I think that was on my old 360 where I didn't transfer like all my saves over. When I when I uh, had my first 360 burnout and I got my new one that's been going well. Oh, damn it. That's all right. Got him. So stuff like like my old stuff, like Fight Night Round 3 and TNA Impact and I think uh, the bigs, I think a lot of that stuff didn't properly transfer over. I was just happy I was able to get... Um, I think, yeah, because I had, I had uh, College Hoops. I think College Hoops is one of the few things that did transfer over. God damn, that thing went... That thing was like 18 pieces. Now batting, the center fielder, number eight. I didn't realize... I had forgotten when... Uh, oh, shit. Oh, never mind. I had forgotten when the new Tony Hawk game came out. Uh, I didn't realize it was like, what, three weeks from now? Something like that? Oh, shit. I shouldn't have even moved it. I was like, oh, shit, September 9th. I didn't even... Oh, God damn it. Why did I do that? Can I not? All right. That works. But can we actually get uh, a run in? Then they got PGA Tour 2K21 on Friday. Oh, all right. Just beating him right in the elbow. Ooh, the pressure's on. Come on, boys. Oh! Oh, shit. Yeah! Oh, shit! He dropped it. Or, no, he didn't drop it. The ball didn't drop. That's what I was going to say. Can I get the... No, nope, never mind. I should just do a normal swing. The normal swings work out. I, I, I tried to get fancy with the power swing, and this is what happens. Mm. Am I that predictable in my pitching? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I anticipated that. I anticipated that, too. All right, cool. Fuck you, then. This is what I got for you. Ah, suck a dick. Tell me. Tell me what you know. See that? See, now I will do something I usually do, and that's throw outside. Throw low. Oh. Oh, shit. That actually, okay. Probably shouldn't have gone, but. It's a good old, it's a good old MLB trick of, like, catching it and then immediately putting your glove up to make it look like you caught it higher. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it up, 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 up. Hey. See, I can do this. Yeah. Since they seem to assume that I'm going to be throwing fastballs early into the count, I'll do it late in the count. I think I've been throwing high a lot. We'll throw it down. Damn it. Oh, oh, got it. Is this the only game you're doing tonight? Um, probably not. Um, I was thinking NFL 2K. I don't know. You could do something. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, my God. Is he actually going to make it? Nope. Never mind. He's too slow. Ah, come on. Ooh, get out. No. Nope. Damn it, all the way to the warning track, too. Wait, Pat McAfee is fighting Adam Cole? He actually is doing a match with Adam Cole. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, my God. Twice it goes to the warning track with the center fielder. Damn. Where are they at? Eight hits and three hits. So I've I've got the hits necessary. I just haven't put anyone, on, just haven't put anyone in the... Uh, And put anyone across home plate, which is sad. I got hits, just not not doing anything with them. Oh, 
Ah, oh, damn it. I was so ready. Perfect. Perfect. Next pay-per-view, Cole versus McAfee. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey, remember that one time Mike Tyson was on AEW? They just randomly, they just randomly threw that away, didn't they? Was that supposed to lead to something? I would imagine Tyson and Jericho, but I don't know. Hey, there we go. All right, extra innings. Let's try to get it out of here, though. Ah, oh, damn it. 1080 snowboarding? Oh, God, I haven't played 1080 snowboarding in forever. I played 1080 Avalanche on stream once. I don't know if I played the original. Oh, come on. I didn't think he had that. Are you kidding me? Get out. Get out, please. Oh, damn it. I thought he was either going to catch it or... Oh, yeah, that is right. Mike Tyson is training for an exhibition with... Um, uh, I forget who the fuck it was. Drop. Thank you. Play Aval I, See, that's the thing is I already played Avalanche on, on stream before. It's been a while, but... Shit. Come on. Come on. Oh, God, he's going to catch it. Fuck. We need that one person. That one person to just get him across. Get him across. Oh, come on. Come on. Damn it. Ugh. Oh, shit. No. Great. Zero outs and a man in scoring position. Pressure's on. Pressure's immediately on. Oh, shit. Shit, now I didn't get anybody. Fuck, I should have thrown it to second. I maybe could have tagged him. Damn it. I want to throw it down, so hopefully if he hits it, he might ground it. Ah, damn it. Wow, he called that? You didn't finish Avalanche? Did I not? I thought I got close. Damn it. All right. Well, we got one. So what we need now is a double play. Double play will do it. Mm, that's not going to do it, but if we can... Oh, shit. Nope, that's gone. That's it. Okay. I love how they have a guy named Presidente, and they also are playing at the, the fucking Cuban. <laughs> the Cuban field. Tugger Presidente. That's my nickname. <laughs> Wouldn't doubt if they're doing the old TNAC will beat down Clan with MVP, but a new name. Probably. Uh, let me see the schedule. So, yeah. So, the next, like, four are uh, all different people. We might as well do that. Can we send the games? There we go. Peter's got it. Jack Rabbits win. Detroit. Grand Rapids. Yeah, let's just skip them all. See where we're at. All right, so we're still only three games back. That's not too bad. <clears throat> Although that does put us a couple of games back now from Memphis because they won. 
That's all right. We're still a little ways away. And we're facing Cincinnati, who are 14 and 11, so they're only a little bit better than us. I was going to say, is there a team that's doing abhorrent? Really, Milwaukee's about the closest. They're the only single-digit winning uh, team right now. Uh, well, things could be better, but that's all right. Uh, Anna Castillo. Why don't we put Rain Harden in? The fielding's the big thing with that, but I don't know. I feel like there was someone else who could be. Yeah, Anderson was the guy who could be a center or a catcher. Jesus. Uh, Caden Lynn. I don't know. Lugo's, I think, been doing pretty okay. Whoops. Son of a bitch. That's saved, right? Yes. Okay. All right. <clears throat> well, at least we're at home now against uh, Cincinnati. I, was, I did really good last last one. Actually had some, uh, some wins. <clears throat> There we go. Oh, God. It's so light. <laughs> I can barely see where the actual strike zone's at. There we go. Not a lot of people showing up. People don't, people don't like a team that's losing. It's a lot of empty seats. Hopefully we can actually make the playoffs and fill those up. Oh. Oh. Hey. All right. Shit. Look at them hips. Damn, girl, put your hips into them. Swing that ball out the field. <sighs> god, it been a it been a few days. I've had a I've had a lot of work to do. Oh my god. Shit. They had um you know, they had they had some things with uh, the post office that a lot of See, it's it's crazy to see the post office. Oh, Jesus, why did I do that? It's crazy to see the post office with so much news around it right now. I think because of all the mail-in voting and all that. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but all I know is <laughs> I've been working my ass off because they talked about how we weren't going to be how we weren't going to be working more than 40 hours and then that lasted 2 days. I'd say. I think it's mostly because the evening crew that uh, come after us um, lost a lot of people. A lot of people just didn't want to, didn't want to do it. Hell, I don't want to do it, be, but it's at least good money. Uh, will you strike if anything happens? Uh, I don't see us doing that because usually when strikes happen, it's because of a contract dispute. And we just signed, uh, they, the our union just signed a new contract. So, like, I think last year, maybe. So, that's usually when the strikes happen is uh, the collective bargaining agreement failing. Because isn't it the NFL doesn't have one right now? Or at least they won't have one at the end of the season, I want to say. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Because, they, cause yeah, they were talking about it. Well, uh, maybe they did actually sign it. Because I think that was one of the things about them going to 17 games, was they actually did sign it. But I know they were discussing possibly having another strike. But, yeah, it usually has to do with the collective bargaining agreement. So... I don't know if workers will strike just because they're overworked. I know there are some people who talk about that. Uh, we'll see. Not a lot of streams in November. 
I mean, I I don't work in the area that deals with that deals with uh, letters, so that mail-in voting might not be my my deal. We do get a lot of the kids. We don't get a lot of the uh, like. Um, what was it, Jesus? When I first started, it was 2010, and like a month after I started, which was. Yeah, I started in February 2010. In March 2010 was the 2010 census. That sucked. And that's when I was working in letters. That was a pain in the ass, that 2010 census. But I haven't I didn't I haven't worked there for the, you know, 2021 and then of course, if mail-in ballots are going to be a thing, um I won't I won't be personally dealing with them maybe. I usually do that. We're, we usually do like some of the bigger stuff. And um, hey, we at least got to run. I do stuff like packages and magazines, magazines mostly, but the stuff that's about the the size of magazines as well. And that's a lot of the um, a lot of like the election flyers, like the the mail that they send to everybody. Where it's like, vote for this person because this person sucks like that. So I've seen a lot of that mail that comes through. But yeah, it's mostly magazines. But yeah, especially around the time of the... It, it, I think it was especially bad around the time of the Iowa caucuses. Because yeah, it's just all the Democratic nominees were just flying mail through our building. To uh, get out to people. And it's still not great. We're still getting quite a bit, I think, because of uh, because of the actual election. But see, so yeah, it wasn't nearly this busy last year. See, so yeah, not a lot of streams in November, especially December. December is going to be another big one too. Even though magazines and all that are usually down, uh, the packages are going to be way up. And that's definitely what has been. Uh, that's definitely what's been keeping people busy in our building. Hey. <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot of our it's a lot of our supervisors sitting here going, "You got to get done. You got to get done with the Oh, Jesus. Why did I swing at that?" You know, it's a lot of our supervisors saying, "You got to get done with this. You got to get done with this cuz we got to get going to the packages." We gotta do our priority mail. It's like, fuck. Because they're just so much. Never thought about doing coke to keep up. I do okay. Hey, home run. That was something I should have hit last time. In the last game, a few of them. Second home run for Lugo on the season is eighth RBI. We got Martin Vargas, who's also got two home runs on the season. 371 batting average. I should check my swing. I think I think they're a little more I think they're a little more uh it's not as sensitive with the uh check swings. Oh my god, is he about to do it? Nope. Oh, we did it just barely. Just barely hit it back to back home runs. Oh, right at the 363. That's his third home run, sixth RBI of the season. Boom. You prefer it private or public for the post office? Um, I think public is the, the main concern, actually. Um, you know, there's a lot of people saying, oh, you know, privatizing the post office is, will probably take away a lot of my benefits. You know, a lot of the things that it's like that makes it a really good job. <laughs> The health care, the, the, the holidays, the holiday pay, the overtime pay. I guess also a lot of that's also in the collective bargaining agreement, which won't completely be affected. But I'm thinking if it's privatized, it'd be not good. Um, but, yeah, it's. I'd say keeping it public would, would help with that because it's it still technically remains a service at that point. I mean, think about the fact that, if, uh, oh my god, are we going to do a third home run this? Oh my god. We couldn't get anything to go to round the bases last game, and we hit three home runs in an inning, and that's his first home run of the season. 
Yeah, I think a lot of the stuff like for my retirement and for uh, for my health care and all that good stuff. Um, if it was privated, I think a lot of that would either go away or I'd have a lot less of it. I think making sure that uh, the post office remains a service is probably one of the big things. Because if it does that, then it doesn't really matter that it's losing money. Which it probably shouldn't in the first place. Because, you know, they treat it like... It's weird because it's treated like a business sort of sometimes. Or it's like, oh, they lose billions of dollars uh, annually. It's like, yeah, but it is it is kind of a service. More than, ah, fuck. Why did I do that? That's all right. I put si I put five down in that uh, in that inning, so I'm not, I'm not too unopposed to that. By the way, next inning. <laughs> by the way, if we get to the... In the fourth inning here, uh, if if we go down th uh, three, if they go down three zero, I will be swinging on the fourth pitch. There's no unwritten rules in United Heartland League baseball. Are you? Yeah, United Heartland baseball. I ended up seeing that. It was kind of infuriating because it's like. I don't know if you. I don't know if you ever. Uh, I don't know if you 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 heard about that. I forget the dude on the Padres who hit a. He hit a grand slam, like they were up by what seven something like that. I think they were up like seven or eight in this like the seventh inning. I think it was, and he hits a grand slam because the pitcher goes down three and zero oh in the count. And I guess there's an unwritten rule that you just take a strike. If you're up by that much and you and you uh, are are up like three and zero in the count, but he just kind of threw up a soft one to him and he hit a grand slam after after walking enough people to load up the bases as well. This isn't just the three and zero count, but he did poorly enough to be loading up all the bases as well. Oh, I thought we'd have him. So, yeah, I am kind of glad that people were talking about the unwritten rules and people were being like, no, that shouldn't be a thing. But, yeah, I like my I like my benefits too much. <laughs> I like the fact that my my. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's not dropping. Fuck. He went all the way back. Jesus Christ. That's, that's 500 close. It's at least 400. 467. Yeah, it was like it's a it's a long ways back to center field. Now batting the left fielder, number nine. Also, now that I think about it, I probably should have changed out the pitcher for in the last game by the sixth inning. Yeah, pitchers complaining, guys celebrate home runs. Yeah. I do like there's a lot of people who are like, yeah, here's a thought for you. Pitch better. I guess the I think the Rangers were also the thing is that people pointed out that the Rangers are the same team that um, hit got the the home run uh, hit on them by what was it uh, Jose Batista and he did like that gigantic bat flip as he looked at it and they complained about that too and it's like well maybe if your pitching wasn't shit people wouldn't be dinging homers off you left and right. And then, of course, it's like, well, you know, he could throw at his next guy. And it's like, okay, well, then maybe the unwritten rule should be don't throw at the next player because you're pissed that someone dinged a homer off of you. Surprise, I don't know. Maybe it's, well, it's not too late. It's not even 8.30 yet. Third home run for Floral. Jesus, we're just dinging homers today. All right, Lugo's got two home runs on the on the uh, season. He's been performing way above his pay grade. Four thirty eight batting average. It's gonna keep going up. Of course, they're putting a new pitcher in. 
I wonder if they do if they do a Super Mega Baseball four, they might introduce the MVP baseball thing and probably the two K baseball thing. I don't know. It's been like ten years since I played it. Of um, having to warm up the pitcher because right now they just do, you know, you can just bring in the pitcher like general, not have to worry. Yeah, that's all right. I bet you. I bet you that'd be a thing that they do. Also, drafting and free agency is probably going to be a big thing as well. Or free agency is a thing. Drafting and trading. Uh, substitute. Let's put a closer in. Let's do Prince Wang. Let's do Reyna. Reyna. He's only got three pitches. It'd be nice if he had more. It's all right. Oop. Oh, is it gone? It's gone. Oh, goody. First at bat. <laughs> One unwritten rule is if a guy has been doing too good for a few games, throw at him even if he wasn't if it wasn't against you. <laughs> I know. Everything is everything's about like hurt feelings and like uh yeah, everything's about like hurt feelings and then pitchers throwing at people because they're they're butt hurt. It generally tends to be what it is. It's like no wonder no wonder baseball isn't as popular since the days of like Ken Griffey Jr. and Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. Since the days of guys dinging homers because they were in a home run race. I think that's I haven't seen much, like of course like local news will go into, you know, sports scores and all that but i remember even my local news keeping up with the home run races like at least a couple times a week they would actually back when it was like mcguire versus sosa and like ken griffey jr might be there as well but yeah it was like mcguire and sosa and yeah and they would have their home run races i remember that they would go over the scores but then they would specifically go into the home run races Well, McGuire's got 45 on the season. Sosa's got 43. He's going to have some catching up to do. They should just do roids. You know what? Why not? Made things fun. <laughs> Think of all the people in the Tour de France that, uh, that did steroids. I think that's a that's a Bill Burr bit. Oh shit! Is he about to put it over? God damn it! All right. Well, now that you've given up a shitload of runs in one inning, can can I trust you to finish this? Can I trust you to finish this? My feelings are hurt while in the background. The smallest violin plays. Yeah, that's another thing that people were like, you know, these guys get paid millions to do the exact thing that he did. Like, he's paid millions to hit the ball well and hit home runs. Well, thank God I had that five-run inning. Made things a lot, lot better. Da, da, da. Arena, not even a save. More like a thank God you didn't completely screw it up. Didn't see his ERA. Shannon did home run. Oh, damn. A home run, a triple, two RBIs, two runs. Yeah, I can see that. Lugo went three for three. Damn. For a C-plus player, he is killing it for our team. Three for three with a home run, an RBI, and a run. Jesus. Everyone, they found out baseball did roids appalled with a spoon in their hand, I know. It's like everyone did roids. Uh, there was the, uh, yeah, there was a Bill Burr bit about, um, what was it, Lance Armstrong? They're like, by the way, did you guys know that the top 20 guys in a lot of those races end up getting popped for steroids? Like, that was the thing, how, 
you know, Lance, a lot of those races that Lance Armstrong won, the top like 15 or 20 guys all got popped for steroids. So it had to, you know, eventually had to go down to someone who finished like 21st. Auto racing, you can't use drugs. You can use drugs. It's not saying it's going to help, but you can. All right, well, we're back up to 500. That's good. Uh, I could probably squeak out maybe a couple more games. Oh fuck, Lugo's starting to get tired, but I don't want to. I don't want to take him out. He's been hot right now. He's been hot. Wheat check has been doing good. He's locked in. Grayson Wong's coming in for his thing. I don't want to. I don't want to screw this up right now. Doing too good. I need to check that out again. I need to check out. Um, the NASCAR racing mods. Like, I kind of looked into them for a while, and then I didn't because I was like, ah, eh, no one wants to see it. I'm still not 100% guaranteed that people want to see it, but might be worth a shot. I don't know. Kind of like the NBA thing, you know? I don't know if all the work is going <laughs> to... All the work is going to generate into people giving a shit. <laughs> Damn. Did he just swing straight up or what? Morgan Reef Killer. Why is he so why is it so fast? Might just be the the stats. Feels a little bit faster than the rest of them. Hey. Love NASCAR, but the entire field is tweaking out. That would be great. Just a bunch of, better yet, <laughs> better yet, like, <laughs> you do, like, drunken NASCAR. I'm sure that wouldn't, that wouldn't wash with anybody at all. Like a, like a thing that's actually <laughs> an auto racing sport that's designed around, like, DWIs. <laughs> being drunk and <laughs> doing races. No one would sponsor that shit, but it'd be funny as hell. Ah, oh, why did I do that? God damn it. Hey, Carrera, what's up? <clears throat> hey, there we go. Get the fuck out of here. Woo. That flew, too. All right, half empty dugout. How far did that go? 450. NASCAR is sponsored by Budweiser. I mean, it was sponsored by Winston. Well, no, that's a. Was that cigarettes? Were they sponsored by Bush at one point? I thought they were sponsored by beer at one point. No, Winston's. Winston was cigarettes, right? See, I don't even remember. It was a long time ago. Now it's monster. They got they got NASCAR and motocross. It's weird. Oh damn! That's what I should do. I should make a. You know how I do? How I love my custom franchises. I'll do a whole custom, um, custom like NASCAR championship. If I can figure out how to mod, I'll get a bunch of like short tracks. Cause you know, honestly, in my mind, super speedways kind of suck. Not big on super speedways. I don't think I would do it. Talladega is boring. I know. There's probably a lot of people who are like, now wait a second. But Talladega is kind of boring. Short tracks are fun. I need to put in like North Wilkesboro. I might do something like Martinsville or Bristol, but there's probably better things to put on there. But yeah, like I said, if I can figure out how the custom championship thing works... Add in some some tracks that are maybe part fictional, part like real life. I know at one point I had uh, Iowa Speedway. That's like what third mile, something like that, two third mile. I forget what it is exactly. I know it's basically a short track, but I can't remember how short technically it is. 
I'm so glad they updated it, by the way, so that they're not constantly dropping balls on first base. Oh, shit. Get there. Hey. Did he just hit that and the catcher caught the ball? Yeah. Rain Harden. She thick. Look at them thighs. Put your thighs into it, girl. Hey. But yeah. I don't know. Find some other short tracks. Maybe stuff that's like already uh already taken down. I actually did see because they have a whole um they have a whole thing based around uh th there's this guy who did a series of like NASCAR abandoned tracks. And it's all using NASCAR 2003, like the mods that were made in that game. So it's like you see all these abandoned tracks that were once used once upon a time. And, you know, it's it's already, you know, they show it in NASCAR 2003 and kind of how it looks in the game. NCAA Football 14 is getting a huge mod. Ooh. I won't hold my breath too much, but you know, we'll see. I really wish, because after they talked so much about how NCAA fi Football 15 was going to be, how it was supposed to basically be like the future-proof NCAA football. Oh, damn. Did he only get the... Wait, did he not... Oh, there's no instant replay. Did he not touch the... Did he not touch home plate? Oh, you know what? It technically wasn't a force out, was it? No, he didn't touch him. He he touched the plate, but it technically wasn't a force out because first base was open. They didn't have to run. That's dumb. AI made a AI made a bit of a dumb, but that's okay. Ah, uh, too slow. Damn, just barely. College football revamped. I'd be interested in seeing what that is. Heard you asked a girl out. Did I? I don't remember. <laughs> I think I was talking about former relationships on the last stream. But it wasn't like asking girls out. Not to mention that sounds weird. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm 30. I'm, yeah, he asked a girl out. I don't know. Something about that just seems goofy. Seems very teenage-like. Fuck. All right. Well. The hell is wrong with you? Ah, right down the middle. Hey, I got lucky there. Mm, not so much there. I'm gonna have to give up a run, but that's all right. I'm at two outs. So. Thirty in age, eight in stupidity. Wow. Did he really just strike call that? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Where was that ump looking? Man, if if they put if they put arguing with the umpire in the game, that would have been the one where you saw a little cartoon manager come hopping out and yelling at the yelling at the uh, the umpire. <laughs> like, really? You're gonna call that? And then he Angel Hernandez's him and just fucking throws him out because he's sick of listening to him. College football revamped. I might have to check that. Yeah. It makes me sad, like I said, with uh, NCAA football 15. That was supposed to be, like, the future-proof NCAA football. So it was supposed to have a bunch of customization. Like, customization is still pretty good, but it was supposed to be really deep in customization. Uh, the, the, the 15. I wish they just would have done it anyway without the NCAA, like... Uh, I guess I guess UFC doesn't or not UFC, but EA doesn't really do that. They don't really do unlicensed games. I guess because you know 2K didn't work out too well when they did an unlicensed game. All right, I'll check that out in a second. 
Oh, my God. Back-to-back -back homers. Back-to-back -back homers. Seeing a bra moment. Oh, yeah, you weren't here, but, yeah, I don't know where Panda went. But, yeah, we talked about that. I talked about that, like, right at the start of the uh, right at the start of the uh, stream because I was, like, looking at my phone and I saw, like, TVMA was, uh, ooh, nice slide. TVMA was, like, trending. I'm like, why? And then I saw the 11-year-old twerking movie <laughs> on Netflix. It's like, okay, this is screwed up. Yeah. Was it cuties? Yeah. Bunch of, about, about, about a bunch of 11 year olds on a twerking dance team. It's like, you know what? I don't know what your conservative parents are talking about when they try to dissuade you from doing that, but maybe they might be right. You are 11. Because <laughs> the whole thing's supposed to be like. Whole thing's supposed to be like, oh yeah, she defies what her family's expectations and her her family values, and it's like, you know what? Maybe they have a point. Twerking twerking dance team at eleven years old doesn't sound like a like the greatest of ideas. Someone's making a movie about that. I guess I shouldn't be surprised at this point. A lot of people are like, really, this is this is happening. But I guess I'm not too surprised because they still got fucking pedophiles running rampant on Twitter. They just call them different things now. What is it? Maps? That's Oh, shit! Oh, I shouldn't have touched it. Damn it. Thought it was a show. No, it's a movie. It's just an hour and a half movie. I guess fortunately, maybe? Fortunately, it's only an hour and a half movie. Thank God it's not a show. Hey, nice double play. Thought we were gone from the days of toddlers and TRs. No, that, that stuff is, uh, oh, God, this is probably going to get hit for, <laughs> now that I think about it, it's going to get hit for inappropriate content now. This is not going to end up on YouTube. I guarantee it. Just because I keep saying 11-year-old and twerking in the same sentence. It's going to get, it's going to get, fucking ding it's gonna be like yeah no you're not allowed to talk about that yeah no see that that kind of thing see what what happened was is toddlers and tiaras was weird but like no one really paid too much well i guess people paid attention to it but now it's become normal you know when things become normal like that it just you know, they decide to push the envelope. I want to know who's directing it. I hope it's Dan Snyder. Dan Schneider. <laughs> you'll know. You'll know if it's. You'll know if it has a lot of a lot of their feet in it. Oh my God! Is that a grand slam? Oh shit! Damn. Grand, I think that's my first one. 444 feet by Floral. Fourth home run of the season. Twitter people should cancel that shit. No, Twitter people. Here's the thing. Twitter people are probably. I've seen. Pe I've seen a lot of people, thankfully, like, be like, "What the hell is this? Why is this a thing? Can the giant meteor show up now?" But a lot of Twitter people are just like. They don't really, they, a lot of them endorse it. Like I said, like I said, if you probably, if you hashtag like, what is it, MAP, you can probably find some horrifying things that people talk about. Is there a mercy rule? Because like I said, Twitter doesn't really care about that type of thing. Oh yeah, now that I also said, uh, ooh, I can simulate. Yeah, sim the rest of the game. I don't need to deal with this anymore. But uh, yeah, I'm sure because they're allowed to just kind of hang out there. But uh, yeah, now that it, now that I've said the p word, I'm sure this will absolutely get dinged, and I'll not be able to post this at all. So I need to remember this later when I upload it and and uh, publish it probably sometime tomorrow, and then it gets removed because the voice, the voice like checker thing. 
the algorithm doesn't like the fact that you're saying saying words like that. Uh, 54 minutes. I think we can do one more. I'll, I'll generally keep it to about an hour. It's, that sounds about good. <sighs> He's getting tired, but I don't want to get rid of him. Lugo's been doing so good. He's been doing so well. Maggie Floro's been doing so well, too. How is she neutral? She just had a grand slam in the last game. No, wow, Tyler obeying. Hey, I had an entire video that just went kaput. That's the first time that's ever happened. First time that's ever happened to any of my videos. Like, the any time I've had shit, like, blocked or muted. I've had shit blocked and I've had shit booted. Or not booted, muted. I've never had anything straight up removed like that before. That's actually the first time it's ever happened. I'm not monetized, so it's not like they can remove monetization. But I guess inappropriate content. I don't know. <laughs> it had to have been what I talked about. It had to have been when we were talking about the... Uh, the me tooings like on the the canceling people on Twitter. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, and usually when I get stuff like blocked or removed or muted, it's because of like the the music I'm playing in the background or if I'm playing a uh So yeah, usually if I'm playing like a music, that's why I have like a specialty crafted playlist that will that will show up as like um ah damn it that will show up as um uh copywritten but it won't ding me but yeah that's the first time i've ever had anything straight up removed and there was nothing in a it was a it was nba 2k14 it was straight up basketball so like the only other thing it could be is if something in the algorithm said, you know, hey, we caught you saying this. And so now we have to now now we're removing your video for inappropriate content. Cuz I don't think there was even if it was a single even if it was like a single, I don't think a single report is going to uh mess anything up like that. You know, even if someone reported the video, which I don't know why. It's not like I'm big time anything. But it's not like there was anything visually. So it had to have been what we were talking about. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I guess we can't talk about canceled people on Twitter anymore. I probably said the R word. <laughs> the R... <laughs> The R word, not not mentally challenged, but the R word is in aggressively loving someone. <laughs> can we can we just since we're softening up language, can we call it that? Aggressively loving someone. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. I know I'm contributing to a, a terrible culture. Which is funny because uh, how hasn't it gotten to the college hoops vid? Because they probably don't give a shit when we talk about fucking when we talk about Joshi's and <laughs> I know I get I get dinged if I I get dinged if I talk about if I say certain words, <laughs> but for some reason talking about Joshi's <laughs> and thick thighs <laughs> and dancing TikToks. And kissable tummies is not grounds for removal. <laughs> it's really weird. Oh, yeah, that is right. I have said twisted retard. So something would have gotten dinged at some point if, for all the times that I've said retard on with the uh, with the uh, TEW thing. So I guess they I guess they're fine with with uh, with the word retard. <laughs> <laughs> just start testing out the the, uh, the words like okay just try to think of words that 
I can and can't say. I, uh, I want that Valentine card. I'd love that Valentine card. Uh, all right. Just throw it basically at his foot. Ooh, okay. Will you do it again, though? Damn it. Damn it. Forgot their arm is terrible. Son of a bitch. I've got someone on first and second. Hey. Oh, shit balls. Uh, you think of me as your Steve Austin? Oh, boy. Explain. Uh, I might I might put in a reliever. After giving up a couple runs, maybe a reliever is a good idea. A person who makes your life a living hell, but I have talent. Really? Show me. <laughs> Things you're doing in Fire Pro. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know why I had him go all the way out there. I could have easily had the, uh, the, the left fielder, who was much closer, actually do something about that. I might put in a reliever in the third inning. It's not usually good to have your starter only able to pitch two innings, but oh well, who cares. I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to hit those gifts. All right, we need some runs. That'd be good. Some runs would be good. Mm. Oh, why did I do that? That was not a good idea. The thing I put in my chair is coming apart. Well, it wasn't coming apart as much as it was just being an issue. I'm not going to have Lugo try to go to second off that. He's too slow. He's so slow. Ugh, damn it. Why am I stupid? Uh, do those gifts do those gifts showcase what you've done in Fire Pro? I'll, I'll take a look at it. I'll, I'll take a look. Oh, stupid me. That's all right. I got one on the board. That's what I need. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Her name is Rain Harden, and she's black. That makes her black rain. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Oh, shit. Outside. Man, they're not giving me the corners at all. There you go. All right, let me let me let me let me look real quick at one of them. Let me do one of them real quick. I'll let it I'll let it come up while I'm uh while I'm pitching here. There you go. Okay, oh, it's going so slow. It's going so slow. Can it be faster? Why do animated GIFs have to be so goddamn? All right. Maybe not, just because Giphy is going so unbelievably slow. There we go. Or are you just dancing? Or is something actually going to happen here? I assume it's mostly dancing, but I can't I can't hardly see it because for some reason Giphy is just 
It's loading like a pile of molasses. It's just so unbelievably slow. Let's try that again, except this time I throw something close to a strike. A. All right. Up and in. There we go. Once again, my, my shortstop running all the way out to center field. Ah, right to the right fielder. Damn it. Can you not put a little bit more oomph on it and have it go up against the fence or the wall there? Why am I stupid? Damn it. Can I not be? That still was not ideal. All right. I need to make sure I check the pitches because they're going to throw me junk. I did it again. See, I tapped the button, but it doesn't check swings very well. That's what I'm going to blame. I'm going to blame the fact that it doesn't check swings well. So that way it at least contributed to my <laughs> complete inability to not swing at <laughs> junk balls. That way it's not 100% on my dumb ass. At least a little bit of it gets to, gets to go on the game. <laughs> a. Uh, I should just swing. You know what? He's he's cleaned it up in the uh, in the uh, third and fourth innings here. I do gotta say, because I was gonna change out the pitcher, and then I didn't. And he's been doing okay. But now that I've said something, he's absolutely not. All right. Well, we got out of it. Here we go. Got to take the lead here. Yep. Just I got to be real careful about what I swing at. There you go. Oh, shit. He's going to catch it. <sighs> Fuck, he's going to catch it anyway. Get better internet. No, it's probably because the website's just garbage. You have a gamer setup. Our internet's fine. Like I said, it's probably just the website being trash. Because GIFs load at, like, stupid, stupidly big sizes for whatever ungodly reason. Home run? You gonna get a home run right here? It's got Vargas. He's got six home runs on the season. Let's go for number seven. Ah! You know what? That helps. That helps. We got a guy on third. Who's after Vargas? I forget who's after Vargas. Maurice Roth. Yeah. I mean, he does okay. He's not one of our best guys, though. Oh. Oh, dinged off. God damn it. Can I do things regular? Thank you. That's what I needed. Oh, get it. Get to first. Get to first. Yes. Oh, my God. Just barely safe when we take the lead. Woo. I don't even care at this point. We took the lead. Get the closer in. Get the three outs. That's all we need. Sub him out. Get a reliever in. Prince Wang. Yeah, we had Reyna. Let's get Wang in there. That had dad watching sports energy. Great. I'm already at that point in my life. All right. Let's see here. Ah, oh, 
you know. Hey, that two-run comeback, that was that was something to watch. Ah, oh, damn it. Is it gonna is it still gonna drop? Hey! That's one. Alright, we need a fastball inside. Ah. Let's get a change up. But we're gonna we're gonna make him think it's going inside, and then it comes. Oh, come on now. That was absolutely in. That was in the strike zone, man. Shit. Okay. I gotta I gotta find the corners here. I gotta find the corners. Alright, cool. Curveball down. Let's see him do it. Oh, we got him. Probably shouldn't have been a strikeout, but who cares? Nonetheless, we're down to one. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Get up there. Fuck. All right. They got the tying run on second. As we need to strike out, a ground out, a fly out. Who cares? All we need is an out. Or strike one. Ooh, there it is. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, my God. How? How did someone not get there? Are you an excellent baker or chef? No. I'm mediocre. I mentioned this, I think, to my roommate that I was like, I I can never cook food for a girl because I cook food good enough for me. I'm a simplistic human being. I, I'm, I like good food, but I also mostly eat meals to eat. Like It's like, oh, I just need half-decent food. And that's all I need. You know, when it comes to cooking a good meal, I, I, you know, I could maybe do it, but I'm not, I'm not really skilled in it because, like I said, what's good enough for me and what's good for, like, other people's tastes are generally not the same thing. Have made brownies? I have made, I have made, oh, God, it's been a couple of years since I've made brownies. But, you know. I do a lot of, I used to do a lot of grilling. It used to be my thing. Can he make it? He can make it. He can make it. Boom. Nothing good. He probably burns pancakes. Hey, I make great pancakes. I actually have like a batter bottle. I used to. I don't know if I took it with me. I don't know if it's still sitting in a cupboard somewhere, but I used to have a batter bottle where, uh, you put a bunch of pancake batter in the bottle, and then all you got to do is, like, turn it over and squeeze it onto the griddle. It's because I was good at pancakes. I had a I had a, a roommate about eight years ago who he tried to make pancakes for a girl at our place. And they eventually went to IHOP because he was terrible. He couldn't make pancakes. I'm like, how do you fuck up pancakes? He's like... Oh, no, they just came out really lumpy. I'm like, do you know how to stir things? Do you know how to mix them? Like, it's not hard. Take batter, add water. You know, usually you might add a little couple extra mix-ins if you want to. You know, maybe some spice to taste. And you cook it on a grill and you flip it. It's just not hard. Damn, that would have been perfect if it just barely got in. Why did I... Whatever. I got three runs. So, no, I do not burn pancakes. It's been a couple years since I made brownies. Um, like I said, I mostly grill stuff. I do a lot of chicken. I try to, I try to do a lot of chicken because I, I try to... I try to get some decent protein. I try to uh, eat better than I usually do. I actually weighed myself at work. It's less than I used to be, but it's still not ideal. It's a, it's a good way of putting it, honestly. It's like, you know what? It's a little bit less than I used to, 
when I had a sit-down job and I wasn't doing shit like uh, moving around and doing stuff, but it's not where I could be. Oh, my God. Are they actually... Are you for real right now? Uh, oh, my God. Get, get get him out. You're gone. You're gone. Toss him. Toss him. Tense, neutral, neutral. Ah, fuck it. Let's put Reyna in. He didn't do the greatest last game, but I mean, maybe he can... Do something about this. We need this taken care of. Get those last two outs, man. Oh. Hey, there you go. Wait, butter and flat? Exactly the women I want? Explain. <laughs> I can kind of understand the flat thing, if you mean like no boobs, <laughs> which is incorrect. But I don't understand the butter part unless you're, unless you're basically calling me a chubby chaser. Hey, there we go. No ass either. Wow. Now wait a second. I'm absolutely an ass man, Butterface. Yeah, see, I've been <laughs> chubby. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's what he likes. He likes them to have an ugly face, fat, <laughs> and no ass. Like, Jesus Christ, the fuck do you think I'm into? Uh, sim all the games, see where I'm at. Oh, my God. So we are above 500 officially. Here, let me look at the official standings just to see where I sit in the wild card standings where we are still... Oh, we're tied. We're technically tied. Uh, in fact, uh, Kansas City is considered a... Con what, one game up? I don't know why they're not considered a, an actual... Whatever. It might just be because of the fact that Sioux Falls is right there too, so it's between them. But we're right there too, technically. Um, and wild card games back. It says we're zero, but we should technically be one, shouldn't we be? Because Kansas City sixteen and two is a contender, unless a lot of it relies on the St. Louis thing. I don't know. You're into Iowan women. Didn't they say that, didn't you, didn't, was it you or someone else who talked about Iowa? Well, no, it wasn't women, was it? It was men. It was about Iowa men, wasn't it? Being like sixth handsomest in the in the nation. Number eight in the states with Buster Shackton, man. Yeah, there it is. Not bad for a state that's such as one of the top states are Montana, South Dakota, Utah, North Dakota, and Missouri. So the Midwest, I got some, yeah, a lot of corn-fed, a lot of corn-fed Midwestern dudes who work in the, the fields. <laughs> News for women. Iowa ranked number six for states with the least attractive women. Did I enjoy my... Oh, what was it? Dedicho, I think is what my... Uh, I didn't... I thought it was Derico, but my uh, my my uh, Mexican friend told me it's a Dedicho. So I'm like, all right, cool. Dedicho. I'll do that. He's like, I don't know how you white people pronounce it. I'm like, it's probably like that because we do El Nino and you know stuff like that. So, uh, one game back on the Midwest Division. Uh, technically, for some reason, we're not one game back on the the wild card standings, but that's all right. Got through a few games here. Like I said, just a little over an hour for this. I think we're doing pretty good. I wanna I wanna keep a lot of this going. Um. Anyone to get rid of? It's weird that Auguste Lugo is, like, the worst person on our team. But for some reason, he's, like, one of the... He's, like, one of our best hitters. He's a good... He is a good, strong hitter. But he's probably one of our best ones, I'd say. Can I see where he, where he technically is at here? Yeah, see? He's second in hits. Let me see. Sort. Yeah, there's the, there's the sort. 
So Lou goes all the way down, and he and he didn't start there either. So that's pretty good, I gotta say. We gotta put Julia Friendly back in somewhere. But let's see, home runs. Lou goes up there as well. He's doing pretty good, and he's he's got some one of the least uh, at bats too. So to have so to so to be beating out even a few people with as few at bats as he's had. He's pretty good. In fact, I would say Wheat Check's done a little bit better with his stuff. But, uh, the average has been obscenely high. Except for Buck Ford and his 158. Maggie Flora on her 280. She should be lucky she's been hitting homers because she should probably be sitting at some point. All right. Uh, so there you go. I'm going to play something else because that seems to be what people want. Uh, other than that... Uh, there we go. Yeah, something else for you guys on stream. Not sure what exactly. I might check my Switch just to see what there is. Uh, but if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, hope to see you next time. <laughs>